Hello, my lovelies. Um, how are you today? Today is Friday and I am so ready for the weekend. I'm actually, um, well, as, as the moment I'm filming this, it's almost four o'clock. So I'm, I guess I'm playing a little tiny bit of hooky. Not too bad because I'll probably go back to work here in a little bit. I work from home. <clears throat> but I wanted to tell you about a dream I had. Last night, in the middle of the night, I, I woke up to make a little trip to the bathroom. And as I was going back to sleep, I had this idea because I've had people ask me for my business card a few times in the last couple of days, or the last four or five days. I thought, I really need something I can tuck into my junk journal because I have I have my traveler's journal that I keep with me most of the time. Um, I need a place to keep my, my business cards. And while I'm at it, it'd be awesome to have a little place to keep little scrap pieces of paper because if you're anything like me, you have these little scraps like this, little papers everywhere because you start to make something and then cut off an end or whatever. So you have a bunch of those and you don't want to throw them away. So I decided that I would make a little portfolio. Now I know they sell business card holders and that's wonderful, but you know, we make things. So I made this where I can tuck my little cards in there. And actually I'm going to make the one for myself in front of you live. I'm mean, not live, but you know, um, and then little scraps of paper. And this is an index card, one of the bigger index cards. So these actually fit in there, you know, with even with the glue at the bottom, they fit in pretty nicely. The size that I've made almost tick up over the top just a hair. But, and then to hold it all together, I embellished a paper clip, which of course, if you don't like putting it together that way, you can choose something else. I also thought, you know, just a little clip like this might work. Um, you could also put a, a grommet through here, or you could just wrap some twine around it. That would be really cute. I have some twine right here. So you could wrap some twine around it. That would be adorable. But I don't want anything that I have to fuss with. I want something I can just, you know, open up and go. And so I made that. Not that this one's for me. This is going to go into, I don't know, it'll go into my pile of things and to put into a junk journal at some point. At any rate, oh, I should probably give you a little bit more light. Let's see. Let's see if that helps. Okay, so to make this little uh, business card portfolio, I'm starting off with... Um, <clears throat> I would like to say that this is a piece of scrap cardstock, but it is not. I actually cut it from a 12 by 12. And I just wanted to mention that this paper right here um, is it's from a, a paper pack called Bohemia from My Mind's Eye. And this actually isn't the prettiest of the papers in the stack, because I will tell you most of the papers in this stack just blow me away. I love this paper pack. Um, I also love Tim Holtz. I love My Mind's Eye, really. Their paper is just amazing. Um, and of course, y'all know that I always love Tim Holtz, just about anything. And I considered using some of that uh, for this project, but I found this one and I thought, well, this is perfect um, to get me started. So let's, let's start off and let's get going. So this is um, eight and a half inches this way. Yep, eight and a half inches this way and four inches this way. So eight and a half by four. Now you don't have to use my sizes, but you do need to use approximately, well, you'll see if you're going to put a business card in it, it needs to be approximately four inches. Now you can go a little bit shy, but if you go too much shy, by the time you get the glue at the bottom, the business card is going to stick up over the top, which if you're fine with that, you're fine with that. I also want to make it big enough to put some decent sized little pieces of scrap paper in here so I can pull this off, give somebody some information or jot something down and tuck it back in there. So that was the reason why I chose this size. There you go. Okay, so I also highly recommend um, two-sided cardstock. 
you could use one sided and you could certainly, um, you know, line the inside with a pretty paper if you'd like. Um, that's absolutely an option because <clears throat> you wouldn't have to do a whole lot. You only need like this back here. So you could do that quite easily. But I thought I would just make my life easier and start with double-sided cardstock. And there's so many pretty options that if you could see how much paper I have, you'd go, you know, you could do it either way. At any rate, I've chosen this one. I'm going to use this for my outside. So the first thing I'm going to do, and, the, and I, I'm doing it this way because um, I found that whenever I used my... Um, score whenever I did the second fold it came out kind of funny I don't know why so at any rate I'm doing it like that and now I'm going to get my score out and again you don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing it but I'm coming so four inches I'm coming in an inch and a half I keep taking I should just take that off for a minute so you can see because I wanted, I didn't want it to come over too far. I wanted it to come over enough to keep these secure, but I didn't want it to come over so far that it wasn't easy to pick up my business cards. So, an inch and a half. By the way, I'm sure other people have done this. I, I applaud them. I, I just, I've seen, I guess, some of your portfolio or folios like that for other things, and I, it just popped into my head. I, so I apologize. If I'm doing something someone else has done and not giving credit, I, I literally thought about this in the middle of the night, but it, I, it still, I don't think there are any new ideas under the sun. Anytime I bounce off of someone else's idea specifically, I will absolutely link them below. And I'm probably going to come up with, well, rephrase. I had thought about coming up with a list of my favorite um YouTubers for junk journaling, but then if I did that, then I might leave somebody off and I wouldn't want to do that. So there's, you know, there's that. But anyway, if I do bounce off of somebody, somebody's idea, I will always link it. Okay, back to this. So here we have the basic little dealy whopper, right? Okay, and fold those in, super simple project, gonna glue at the bottom. Now, on this one, I what I did was I opened it all the way back up and then I took my scissors and I cut sort of a rounded shape right here. On this one, all I'm going to do is do my corner rounder. Like that. Okay. I, I really like this. In fact, I like it so well I should probably do it on mine. I guess mostly I just wanted to show you that you don't, you don't have to. You don't have to cut that by hand. Um, yeah, I think I'm... No, I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, because the cards do stick out enough on this side. But I do think it's nice to have sort of a fun little edge there. And I wonder if... How about... I think I have a fancy... But I don't know where it is. I have a fancy thing. That I could use. So yeah, let's use this one. I rarely use this this corner rounder because it's got such a big a big corner, but I think the bigger corner is good here. Okay, moving right along. The next thing we have to do, of course, is ink. And I have, you know, I've been going back and forth between vintage photo and walnut stain. And I had the vintage photo in the larger one that's the um, the Distress Oxide. And I love Distress Oxide for certain things, but it really, the ink is better for this type of deal. So, I, but I wanted to decide between these two colors. And I really, I think I'm leaning toward the walnut just because I like how dark it is. I like, particularly when I'm using, um, darker, you know, darker paper, it shows up really nicely. And then of course, if I want it to be lighter, I can use a little bit lighter hand, but I, I rarely want it to be lighter. I like that dark, I like that dark edge. Oh, that's just yummy. Man. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way around on the outside. I'm so excited about the weekend, y'all. I have plans with some friends tonight and I have some plans tomorrow and I think I'm getting together with another friend um, tomorrow night. And then Sunday, I'm getting together with some friends. It's like, holy smokes. I'm just like, for somebody who two weeks ago was really feeling very lonely in this new town of mine, I'm uh, I'm really changing that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh, I love that dark edge. Okay, so now if you think about this, we don't have to ink anything but this edge and this edge. But um, just in case that, that little edge right there ever shows, I just... I just do it. I don't know. Call me crazy. Okay. And then um, I want to ink that middle right there a little bit. There we go. Now, another tip. Um, I want to get a piece of paper right here so I don't hurt your ears. Really, really get this nice and burnished right here before you start gluing anything because you want that to hold. When you glue it, you want it to hold really nicely flat because if it if it comes up too much because this wasn't down far enough, then these things are gonna slide around a little bit. So get that nice and burnished. And let me just that edge again okay okay there we go now let's glue oh let's yeah let's glue this first no let's not yes let's do it let's glue this edge first okay someone asked me what glue I'm using or what tip I'm using and that this tip comes with or not comes with, you can buy it to come with the, to go with the art glitter glue. It, there's no glitter to it. I don't know why they call it that. Um, you can tell my old bottle I've just about run out of. And it came with the tip as well. I'm going to take that tip off of this bottle and use it when I get a new one of the bigger bottles. <clears throat> you can tell this one's kind of worn and aged. Um, this is four ounces. This one is two ounces. I bought this one because I wanted to be able to travel with it. Oh, my glue's going to dry in any second. But anyway, you can order it where you can get the tips with it, too. So that's what I did with that. Now, um, uh, where's my thing? Right here. I'm just going to turn it over like that. I'm really just trying to get this as flat as possible, and so I want to burnish that out and get the glue to squish out. And I figure I might as well get it to squish out somewhere where I don't care if it squishes. Okay. Now that's nice and tied up against there. All right, let's flip it over. Oh, you know, I inked that. So you can leave this like this on, and actually I think I might I think I might leave this one like this because I really like that. On this one, what I did was I put this um, cardstock is a little older, and so when I when I folded it, it kind of um, kind of got crinkly on the edges. So then I just got a piece of a piece of uh, colored paper, and I cut it the same height. And I think this was an inch and a half. This is an inch and a half wide and I put a little lace over it and there you go. And let's put this back on it. So I brought this with me because I thought I might cover that edge. I, you know, I think I still am because I can, I can still ink that edge too. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Except I did not want it quite that wide. So, I'm 
I'm not trimming that close right now because I'd rather trim close later when, um, when it's already on there and I know I'm not going to make any mistakes. Let me get this trimmed down. There we go. I did not measure this exactly, but I did want it narrower because I really like this. Okay. Yeah. We're going with it. Now, let's see. So I have another really handy tip on this. Let me show you one second. I want enough glue on there where it secures well. Oh, dang it. Why didn't you remind me? You know what else I want to do? I want to get this edge right here. And I now have glue all over my fingers. Okay, that's good. Now, see, all over my fingers. Okay, I wanna get that crease lined up right there, and lined up down here. Yep, that's good. Where's my, get that burnished down really well. Okay, so here's my tip, and I'm, I've probably already shared this before, but it, in case I haven't, don't fold this at this point. If you leave it flat to dry, you're giving, you want your, your paper to dry in this position. When it gets dry, the, the ink, the glue's not going to give, right? The glue's going to hold onto the paper, the substrate underneath it. But when you bend it, the paper where it's bending will, will stretch just a little bit. The fibers will stretch just a little bit. So you'll be training that paper to stretch a little bit from that, from that fold point. Um, and the reason why that's so important is because then whenever you open it back up, when I can't show you on this because you won't be able to see it, um, it'll it'll you know it'll buckle a little bit like it is here, but it won't be a big significant buckle. Whereas if I were to fold this right now, it would definitely it would definitely buckle. Uh, sure didn't want to cut into that, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna do that. And I could, probably won't, but I could cover this, or run some lace right down the middle here. I'm not going to on this particular one, but that's what I did here was I ran some lace down there. So now, I can tuck my little cards right in there. I'm not gonna push down too far because just in case that glue isn't all the way dry. But, and I can, you know, other side I can put my cards in here. And then when I fold it, I can put other things on this side. So there you go. It's a little business card folio. You could also, of course, decorate the front of this. Oh, let me show you how to make this too. You could decorate the front and, you know, Put your little scrappy things on there. But, uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember what size I made that one. Maybe an inch and a half. We'll just go for it. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to fold in 
toward the middle. And then on this side, I'm going to fold in toward the middle. And then you see this comes to right here. I want to make sure I cut this, that side of this right here, just because I want that to overlap a little bit. Does that make sense? Let me show you. I want some overlap right here. So when I glued this together, these two pieces are also adhered. I'm not going to do that quite yet because I want to get... That's not the right one. This is a little bitty... Oh, I put that on the wrong side. And I'm just testing it for now. See, I think that's too big for that spot. Maybe we're going to just make that a little bit narrower. And yes, I just took the scraps from where I'd cut this. I do like that better. Okay. So now, I wanna put glue all on the inside so it will hold my paper clip in. But I also want to glue these two pieces together. So I'm gonna put some glue right here. Can you see what I'm doing? And then, good amount of glue in there, because I want to hold all of this tightly. And I'm sticking that in there. And you know, I don't remember what they say is best to put the short or the long end in. But in this case, I'm putting the short end in, so I have more to grip on this side. May not be right there, don't hold me to that. I should probably research this and find out. All right, there's a little piece of scrap. That would look nice, especially if I trimmed it. Okay, let's put this like that. Yep, that'll work. And on this, I'm gonna use a little Fabri-Tac because it holds fabric very well. And just a little tiny thin, thin strip of glue. I probably put way too much on that, but that's okay. <clears throat> In fact, I guarantee that's on way too much glue for this little tiny snippet of lace. It's not gonna hurt anything. There, that just spruced it up a little bit. Should I put a pearl in there? Sure, why not? A pearl. One pearl. Out. Yep, that'll work. That will work. All right, it's dry now, so I'm going to gently, and I'm giving those fibers a chance to stretch, okay? So once I, oh, let's see, this is older too. See how that's breaking down a little bit? The older the cardstock, the more it tends to do that. Some cardstocks just do it by the nature of how they're made, but some do it because they're getting a little older. And there on that side. Let's do this one. 
I'm not particularly worried about that because if I need to, I can always cover it up but um, with lace, but um, I think just giving it some grunge will be perfect. Yep, that looks good to me. Okay. Stick my business cards in there. And you've seen the paper on the other side. And now I'm just going to paper clip that together. And there we go. I'm going to tuck that in my purse. And now I have business cards with me and scrap paper with me at all times. What do you think? If you make one, I would love to see it. I'm sure you are going to do a much better job of embellishment and all of that kind of stuff because I tend to just... I tend to go more toward the simplicity thing. I do like to add embellishments. I just often do it like at the end or when I'm, you know, about to finish up a piece. I'll go back and I'll do some little touches, but there you go. We have two of these. Okay, so uh, I forgot to turn my airplane mode on again. And meanwhile, uh, you know, I took another look at this and decided that I really wanted to scruff it up a little bit more. I did not like this on it because I used the smaller paper clip. And by the time I got business cards in there, which is the purpose of this, it kind of doesn't work well. So it needs the larger paper clip for sure. I have decided on this one, I'm actually not going to close it because I'm going to tuck it into my into a, a side pocket of my um, traveler's notebook so it doesn't really need to stay closed. And I don't want to have to be putzing with this. I want to be able to just easily pull it out, give out the card, and or pull out the scrap and be done with it. I also realized that I did not show you what I had on here. So I'm hoping you can see this. So this this is the the um, large paper clip that I used for this. And I also put a bulb clip on here and a little charm dangle. So that's what that is in case you happen to look at the video and go, she didn't finish explaining that. So yeah, that way it's got a little, little bling, little something, something on it. Um, I don't like that, so toss it along. <laughs> You probably do not like this grungy, grungy look. I love it. So, you know, you do you, I'll do me, we'll all be happy. But the, the principle applies. And again, you could put something on here on the front of this. Like if you wanted to do, you know, some kind of little scrappy do. Let me find some scrappy do's here. You know, you could put a little thing. I don't know. I don't have much handy, but you know, you could put little little snippet thing right there on the front and that would make it really cute as well. Again, I, I have a very specific use for this uh, this time. Now I probably will make more of these because I really like them. I like the idea of being able to put scrap pieces of paper in here. Like that so I can just pull this out and you know write something on it if I need to make a note or and I, I need to give someone else a piece of scrap paper because we're always needing something to write something on so there you go a couple of different examples of this I'm certain your creativity is gonna be shining like diamonds so um, if you make these please uh, please let me see I would love to um, I'd love to see what you do with it, and we um, we will have another giveaway coming up soon, so keep your eyes open for that. I appreciate you subscribing, and I really appreciate you commenting, because I love the comments. I love talking, talking back and forth with you, and I appreciate you. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I might actually see you again this weekend. So anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.